live stream thing as well. Um, and I'd like councillors at the front view so I can see you all. Um, you'll be pleased to know I've managed to turn that chat box off now. All right, okay. But that won't be happening now. Well done. Hmm. Well, you're giving me a headache. Sorry. <laughs> right. Last week's had a haircut. Hello. Oh, finally, yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Hope you've scalped your ash. <laughs> Wait. Is that in case you go into lockdown again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, don't say that, Cynthia. Oh, well, really? according, to, according to Boris tonight, we've got to be prepared. Prepared for what? Just wondering. Oh. Prepared for another lockdown. Can't hear you. Okay, do you want to unmute yourselves, councillors, and then we can yes, begin? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have. <sighs> Hello? 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 Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Roger Small is having difficulty getting into the meeting, Ashley. Oh. Um, I'll resend him the link. Uh, and okay. he's, he's representing Friends of Hanford Station this evening, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, I had trouble getting in on the link you sent me as well, but I put it onto calendar, and it came up on no, okay on that. That's strange. Yeah. So he needs he needs to probably put new event, add new event, and then go to the calendar. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we're past six thirty. So, uh, would you like to start, Brian, um, Brian as vice chair? Are we 6.35 though? Oh, sorry, yeah, it's, you went 6, it's gone 6.35 even. <clears throat> okay, so I'll declare the meeting open. This is meeting of the Finance Committee of Hanforth Parish Council. Uh, we have uh, councillors Samson and Moore here, I can see. Um, do we have apologies from anybody else? Uh, no, I haven't done any apologies for anyone else, no. Neither have I. Okay. And you've not either. Okay. Right, item two on the agenda is declarations of interest. Any councillors have any declarations of interest? None, Chair. Okay. None, Chair. Okay, nor me. Item three is the open forum, an opportunity for members of the public to make comment or ask questions about matters that are on the agenda. If there are any members of the public who wish to say anything. Okay. Bye. I have a question, please. Can, can you hear me, Chair? Yes, yeah. I can hear you, yes. Okay. Um, just on the apologies for absence, uh, there's no apology from the chair of the finance committee. I wonder whether you, as chair of the council, of parish council, have had any indication that the council of Burton wishes to resign his position as. Um, as uh, I have not had any resignations from any council. Have you had any indication that he wishes to resign or considers himself to be no longer a council? Well, a councillor has either resigned or he has, she, 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 she stroke, he, he either has resigned or not. It's not for no, me. It's, it's not for me. It's, 
Have you heard any comment about people's? Have you heard any suggestion he may resign? As I've just said, councillors have either resigned or they have not. It's not for me to comment. Okay, I wonder whether that's true. Well, it's not for me to comment. Okay, any other comments? No, we'll move on to item four. Just to approve and sign the minutes, the planners committee meetings on the fourth of February. Anybody, any councillors got any comments on the minutes of the fourth of February? None, Chair. None from me, Chair. Okay, none from me. Ashley, that's just a straightforward. You know, um, approval, I don't think we even need a vote on that. Uh, yes, can I have a proposal and a seconder, please? Do I'll propose. A second. Okay, all in favour? In favour. All favor. in favour. All in favour. Unanimous, thank you. Okay, item five, recommendation for expenditure. There's none there under item No, five. no. You've uh, missed one. There's a recommendations? No. No. Brian, you've missed an item. It's to approve and sign the minutes of the meeting on the 16th of March. I don't have that. I've got 4th of February. We're on 2109 is the agenda reference number. Mine only goes down to 2107. Have you got the right agenda up, Brian? What date does it say on the front of your agenda? Finance committee meeting for the... Oh, blimey. 16th of March. Yeah, you've got the wrong one up. Shall I read it out to you? Yes, please. Where the hell um, 20... Oh, 21095 to approve and sign the minutes of Hanforth Parish Council Finance Committee meeting held on the 16th of March. If you haven't got it in front of you, Brian, have you seen it before? Because looking through the minutes, everything that was under there was resolved unanimously. There was nobody voted against. All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll have to go with what you've got. I, I don't have that. Do you want me to read out the Finance Committee me minutes to you? If everything was unanimous. It was all unanimous. Agreed, we, can, we can forego that. Okay, I can assure you it was all... Um, Resolved unanimously. You know, I, I remember it being very brief. And um, we gave £500 to the scout and just giving you a quick sit rep. Uh, we approved the quarterly expenditure and the open forum, there was no quest, there was no um, comments. And the reason why we're approving the 4th of February was that we didn't have enough people to ratify the 4th of February minutes, which are the ones we've just ratified. All right, okay. thank you. Thank you. So, to, shall I propose that we accept these minutes? Yes, if you and Councillor Moore can propose on the yeah. second Can I propose? Yeah, I, propose. And I, I, I will abstain from voting because I haven't got them in front of me, but not to be... And you weren't at the meeting, Brian, I'm afraid. You Sorry? couldn't make it. You weren't at the meeting, you couldn't make it. All right. <laughs> That's probably oh, yes, why you haven't got the minutes. <laughs> anyway, okay. In favour? In favour. Are, are we, is it okay for us to approve <coughs> them, Ashley, in terms of court? It, it, it is actually. Even two in favour of one abstention is still a motion that's carried. Right. Thank you. Is there anything else on the agenda that you have? 
I've got 21096 recommendations for expenditure to retrospectively approve the following items. There were none. To consider any other recommendation requests, none. So can we pass over that one? Yeah. And then we go to 21097 to approve the quarterly income and expenditure accounts for quarter four, 2021. Well, does anybody have any comments on those? I obviously haven't got those. No, no comment. No comment. Okay. So do you want to propose and, recommend, and second? Yes, please. I'll propose. I'll second. In favour? In favour. In favour. Abstain. The next one is 21098, report from relevant councillor regarding internal controls for quarter four, 2021. I, Ashley, who came in to do the quarter? Councillor Moore. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, in that case, um, can I, myself, and Councillor Smith um, did the relevant internal controls. Everything checked out. There was nothing out of order, and they were all signed off and approved. Do you want to do a proposal, Sue? I can propose it, yes. I propose we accept the, uh, con the report and the internal controls for quarter four, 2021. Right. I'll support that. I'll second it. All in favour? In favour. In favour. In favour as well. Um, the next item. <laughs> the next item is to discuss and make recommendations to full council regarding a grant application received from the fan Friends of Hanfield Station for the sum of £700 towards the artistic improvement of station infrastructure. Um, do we have Roger Small in attendance? Uh, I think he has joined the meeting. Uh, I'll have to go and have a look for him. Okay. Um, as I'm the grand facilitator, along with Councillor Brewerton, I emailed Councillor Brewerton um, when I got receipt of this grant application and asked if we could meet either social distancing oh, or if he could send his comments to me. I didn't get a response at all to my email, so I went ahead and discussed the grant application as I'm allowed to with Roger Small, who had produced the grant. So if Roger wants to make a comment on it before I respond. Okay. My, my, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you. So this, this grant application uh, is submitted on behalf of the Friends of Hanford Station. Now, Hanford Station is in a very interesting situation at the present time. Firstly, we're coming up to the 25th anniversary of the foundation of the Friends of Hanforth Station. We're coming up to, uh, in 2022, the 180th anniversary of the line which passes through the station. And um, on top of that, and I've forgotten what I was going to say now. On top of that, um, well, I'll perhaps come back to that. Roger, uh, Roger, can I just ask you to discuss the grant application, please? Well, I thought that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the first the thing which will have struck the first thing which will have struck the committee is that we've asked for a sum of seven hundred pounds, which is. Uh, £200 over the present limit and um, we confessed in the grant application that we uh, 
realize that the limit is normally 500 pounds, but in the special circumstances of the uh, station uh, at the present time, we hope that the uh, Grants Committee would uh, approve that, that um, uh, increase in the amount awarded. What we want to do is to uh, carry on with the work of achieving access for all. Um, the station is currently being surveyed. It's being uh, investigated with borehole um, drilling and so on, ready for the installation of the lifts in 2022. And when the lifts are installed, they will be fair concrete structures. They will need uh, safety fencing to prevent passengers emerging from the lifts or going towards the lifts at platform level from venturing onto the tracks underneath the ticket office area. So there will be safety fencing there. And the installation of the lifts will mean that the uh, present um, Millennium screen will have to be moved down to platform level and we plan to put it on one of the new safety fences which will appear there. Now the committee have decided that they would like to make a matching uh, screen, artistic screen, to celebrate not only the, the 25th anniversary of the um, Friends of Hanforth Station, but also the uh, process of access for all. And should we raise the necessary funds to produce this second screen, it would be mounted on the safety fencing on the uh, opposite platform. Now we applied, we applied to, we applied to, um, over a year ago to uh, Tesco Bags of Health for the money necessary to build this second screen. The total sum involved was uh, over 1,400 pounds. And after a year, Tesco Bags of Help granted us 1,000 pounds. So part of the present grant application to the parish council is to ask for the balance, i.e. 400 pounds to enable that screen to be made. On top of that, we would like uh, several hundred pounds to produce some uh, posters and banners to celebrate the uh, 25th anniversary of the Friends of Hanfall Station. So 400 pounds to complete the construction of this second uh, artistic screen uh, made of stainless steel and uh, several hundred pounds to print uh, uh, some rather robust posters to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Friends. So that, in summary, is, is uh, the basis of the present grant application. Thank you, Roger. Chair? Roger, can I ask how big that screen is that you're talking about, the second screen? It's, going, it's planned to be of the same size as the existing Millennium screen. The existing Millennium screen has been admired by all and sundry. Uh, and it, it will be in my when when that screen has to be moved down to platform level to have uh, a secondary screen uh, on the opposite platform. Okay, thank you. Can I, can I just ask Ashley? Um, uh, well, in fact, I can ask all of the people who are on Zoom. Um, what, one or two or three of you have have got some other noise coming in, like from a television, perhaps, and that's causing the the visible screens to move about quite a bit. I don't know if you could please see if you can switch off whatever it is. <coughs> Thank you. Um, Chair, can I respond or does Councillor Moore want to respond before I give my response? You you give your response, Cynthia. I do have a comment to make, but I'd like okay. to um, Right. The, the grant was prepared very well, very detailed, lots of information and if the grant was as good as the front of the station it would be admirable the front of the station is shabby and unkept and i think that this 700 pound for a cosmetic steel 
uh, whatever, could be better spent on the front of the station, making it more appealing. If you go down the stairs, we've got all these signs of all different stations, which is fine. But there's a great big bear pass that has been dug out by network rail. Now, why can't the, that be planted up by bushes? I don't feel that this grant is uh, very appealing to me because the front of the station is in much disarray. Thank you. May, may I respond to some of those criticisms? Yeah. Firstly, uh, during the uh, pandemic, the COVID pandemic, uh, Northern Rail have severely restricted the ability of the Friends of Hanville Station to work on the station. Uh, in, in, in any area of the station. And so it's not surprising that some of the uh, planters and so on on the station forecourt have rather been rather poorly tended uh, because of, those, of the present circumstances. And as regards the bare patches down at the uh, at platform level, of course, they have been cleared as part of the lift installation process. When the lifts go in, they, they will have to construct paths from the lift entrances uh, towards the um, waiting shelters on the, on the platforms. Roger, uh, Roger, uh, Roger, can you just stop a minute? Ashley, yeah. there's somebody called Greg that's accusing me of count stealing council funds. Can you please evict him? They're not on this Zoom meeting, I'm afraid, Sin. Well, <laughs> they are. They are. They are. I can see it from here. Where? Oh, from yeah, I can see it. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, Roger. Some people don't know how to conduct themselves, unfortunately. No, that's uh, true. Can I just... I, I fully understand where you're coming from, Roger, but I do feel my personal opinion is that the money could be better spent now that the pandemic is over, tidying up the front, getting yourself a decent notice board, celebrating 25 years. Because to be honest, having an artistry in iron, how many people are going to see it? Uh, the, you can't see it, it from the front. <laughs> it's, on, it's down on the platform. Everybody that uh, embarks on a train or disembarks on a train will have to walk past it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's my opinion. Thank you. As, as regards to bare areas, of course, um, the bare areas have been cleared uh, in preparation for the lift installation. When the lifts go in, they will construct paths from the lift entrances to towards the um waiting shelters and the land on either uh, to either side of those paths will be landscaped and planted but of course we can't do that until the um the lifts are in place and the final alignment of the paths uh, uh, has been arranged i appreciate that roger but the front of the station looks extremely shabby and unkept and it has for quite a while Uh, can I just come in there? Um, I think, I think um, Councillor Sampson does have a point. And I, whilst I generally support all the things that the Hanfor Station do, because you all work very hard, give of your time free, freely, um, I would like to see some of that money go to tidying up those planters. I'd be happy to come and help do those planters myself. Um, but I, I did think they do look rather shabby. I wondered whether a coat of paint might help. I don't think anything, a, a huge amount of money needs to be spent. I think what needs to be done is it needs to be brightened up. That's what needs to happen. It's wonderful when you get past there, but at that point, it, it looks dull and dismal. Okay. 
Is, is the thinking that the grant shouldn't be paid because the front of the station looks... Ashley, yeah. Ashley, can you can you take them out, please? Because apparently I've stolen £10,000 from Brian Tolver. Yeah. Please. Thank you. And Sam Brunt is sitting there just laughing, thinking it's funny. Can you please uh, take him away? We want proper people who are concerned for this parish council, not people to sit there and think it's highly amusing. Or make accusations that are totally, totally unjustified. Exactly. Oh, Councillor Samson and Moore, are, you, are you saying that you are not in favour of the grant? No, I'm not in favour of this grant. What I, I would say is they take this grant away, resubmit a new one to tidy up the front of the station. Councillor and Moore. I would willingly support that. Councillor Moore, you're okay. I would support the grant if they would promise to use some of the money to tidy the front. As I said, it's not going to need very much. Well, can I take it we don't have a proposer to support the grant application as it stands? Well, I'm not prepared to propose it un in its current state. Councillor Moore, same for you. Um, well, no, I will propose it if you will second it, but that's up to you, isn't it, <laughs> Councillor Tolver? Well, I'm not quite sure. You, you want to propose it as it stands despite your criticisms? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I just want you know, to be clear. What I'd like to propose is uh, as it, I'd make an amendment to it to, that they do something about the front of the station. Well, I, I would propose, therefore, that we should uh, defer it and give them an opportunity to rethink and resubmit. Is how I would. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that, Chair. Yep. Okay. All in favour of that proposal? In favour. In favour. Is that all right, Ashley? That's fine, yes. Defer it um, and expect a new grant application. Okay. Um, before we move on, I just want to say that Roger Small did a brilliant job in preparing the grant application. I think he worked extremely hard on it, and um, I congratulate him on giving such factual information. Thank that you. Great. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia, you're the one with the agenda in front of her. Um, the next one is 210910 to discuss and make recommendations to full council regarding a, a grant application received from the Bare Necessities Toiletry Bank for the sum of £500 for the purchasing of dental toiletries to supplement items donated for their dental hygiene campaign, Give a Smile. Okay. Did, did anybody speak with the applicant directly? Unfortunately, I did email, but I didn't get a response. The applicant however, is here. However, there is a lady here that is prepared to speak to us. Hello. Hello, good evening. Um, Cynthia, I'm sorry I didn't get a response. Which email did you use? It was Wendy. At bntorridge.org. Yeah. Yes. Right, well, I'm sorry that Mr. Bot overlooked. I'll check my junk box and see what happened because okay. we do respond to all our emails. So apologies, Bot okay. um, overlooked. Um, what 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 would you like me to do? Just uh, describe the nature of our work and why we're approaching you for the grant. Yes, of course. Yes, so basically, we are very much like a food bank, but we only collect and distribute toiletries and hygiene essentials. So we're working with people um, living in poverty and we're focusing only on hygiene poverty. That's a kind of layer of poverty that sits beneath food poverty. So locally, the charities in your immediate parish that we focus on are Hope Central, and Oak and Clough Shore start nurseries program through Cheshire Connected Communities. And we did you support the Riverside before that shut, which I think is kind of in your bailiwick as well. Um, so the reason for approaching yourselves to ask for supplementary funds for our work is that this year our main 
project is is um, focusing on dental hygiene. It's a real problem if you um, if you're a food bank, basically you're destitute. After housing costs, you have fifty pounds or less to feed yourself, clothe yourself, heat your household, buy food, and toiletries and washing powder and things like that. So um, you are below the poverty line in every sense of the word. The most requested item at a food bank is toothpaste and then toothbrushes. We've got stories of people sharing toothbrushes in households. We've got children unable to clean their teeth because there, there is there is no toothpaste available. Um, admissions to hospital in young children under uh, the age of six is it's the biggest reason for being admitted to hospital as a child is the extraction of milk teeth because of poor dental hygiene or lack of access to basic kit that we probably use ourselves giving a second thought to each day. Um, pardon? Sorry, I thought you asked a question. So, um, <laughs> so basically, uh, so one of our... Um, initiatives really is that we we pack up toiletries into different guises so we make up packs for women's refuges we make up packs for street homeless we make up packs packs of teenagers we call them teen survival bags we make up um packs for the nhs for covid frontline workers for covid patients who don't have uh, relatives. So the reason I'm telling you is that is that when we make up packs, it avoids waste, it's very targeted, and it does the job that the charities themselves identify where their resources are stretched or they don't have resources. So the dental hygiene has really come about as being something that is at the forefront of a lot of our charities and organisations' minds that they would like to be able to offer um, proper support to their users. So in the context of a food bank who have probably got, well, hundreds of active users um, it, and those people, they provide three-day crisis packs. I'm sure you probably are all familiar with how it works. So what we hope to do is to be able to pack up a selection that would either provide a family of four with enough product to last three months, that would be toothbrushes, toothpaste, some mouthwash, and then perhaps um, we might be able to buy some um, dental disclosing tablets for children. And then individual packs for, for single person households, which would be single toothbrushes and lower amounts, lesser quantities of the toothpaste and so on. Uh, we have accounts with um, a toiletry wholesaler. So to purchase these items at wholesale prices, the rough cost is £10 per family pack and between six and seven pounds for a pack for an individual to last that, that amount of time. Of course, that just depends on when we're buying it and if there are any particular offers on and so on. So we use Best Endeavour to, to get best price when we're purchasing things. So a 500 pound grant provide roughly 50 packs. That would be 30 families and 20 individual ones. Have you decided... Have we discussed sort of uh, aligning your operations with Hope Central? Sorry? Have you discussed things with Hope Central about how you can align your two operations? Uh, well, we're, well in, in, in the sense that they're one of our charities, we, we support 25 charities and organisations throughout and um, Cheshire, Stockport and Greater Manchester. So um, Hope Central are one of our food banks who we work closely with and they receive regular donations from us as, as toiletries. They receive packs and you know, whatever they request or whatever we have available, we're giving those things into them frequently for them to supplement the packs of food that they give out to their families and individuals registered with them. So just so I understand. So we are already aligned. Yeah, just so I understand, you you don't give the products to the families directly, you give them to the 
food banks to do that, is that? No, no, we don't, because it's very, uh, it's important that there's a qualification process and in helping one, we help many. So we rely on the food banks or the women's refuges or the schools or the connected communities projects because they've got a vetting process there's an index of need and 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 they are making sure that the people who are benefiting are actually the people who should be benefiting okay our, our object is the charity is the um, relief of poverty so we have to be confident that we're fulfilling our obligations under that legal requirement. Okay. Councillors? Um, yes, please may I speak, Chair? Sure. I'd like to ask, um, have you applied to Wilmslow Town Council for a grant? Yes, we, we did get a grant from Wilmslow Town Council last year. And in fact, they suggested we apply to themselves, so... Yes. Right. Um, one of the questions I'd just like to ask is, recently, um, Hope Central were given £5,000 from HPC uh, for the people of Handforth. Now, if there are people in Handforth that you say don't have a toothbrush or can't afford toothpaste, if you let Hope Central know, they can use that funding uh, to, pro to provide toothbrushes and toothpaste and on a secondary question um have you thought of going to colgate to say look we have people who are in dire need of toothpaste and toothbrushes and i'm sure they would donate in their hundreds if we are in that dire need thank you for those points um as I, as I explained, we don't deal with any clients, as, as, as they are called by all the charities and organisations directly. We're a small organisation with a board of six trustees and a few volunteers. It would be impossible for us to um, liaise, contact individuals. So I cannot tell you how many people in don't actually have access to their own toothbrush or, you know, if they're sharing toothbrushes. But what I can tell you, that anybody at Hope Central on the index of deprivation is destitute, as I explained to you, below median household income and relying on less than £50 a month for a week for all of those things I outlined. So it, it, it is a fair assumption to think that a lot of those people will be struggling. And because we don't have a reg steady throughput all the time, it's hard for them to make the decisions about who gets what. Uh, Turning to your second point, yes, we have um, good um, relations with manufacturers. We have L'Oreal supporters every month. We get ad hoc donations from PZ Customs. But a lot of the large global um, manufacturers support a charity called In Kind Direct. And In Kind Direct is like an online warehouse for other charities such as ourselves to purchase items from us. It's a bit like fair share. So food banks can buy from in-kind direct as well. It's a discounted, heavily discounted um, portal, but you are limited, you're restricted to quantity that you can buy. And also, you know, it might be they might have toothbrushes this week, but not next week. There's no continuity of supply. So it's very difficult if you're trying to fulfill an obligation where you're looking for volume of, of, of particular things to offer something out on the scale that we're trying to do it. Um, Chair, could I respond? I've just got two more questions and sure. then I'll... Um, one of the questions I'd like to ask is, um, obviously, we have to be aware that any grants we give benefit handful community. Can you assure us that if this grant is granted, that only handful community will benefit? Yes, most certainly. And in fact, we're quite used to um, if an, a group or a supporter wants to put a restriction on funds or type of support they offer to us, that we, we are definitely able to do that because our organisations and charities are based throughout the geographic 
areas I described to you, we can definitely assure you that any funding you provide to us for this purpose will benefit residents of, of your town. Would you consider definitely. going to would you consider going to Hope Central to ask them for part of the five thousand that we gave for handfuls of people? I think that probably would be wrong of us because my understanding is that Hope Central focus on food poverty and I think it would be kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul councillor and I would not feel it's I would not feel comfortable doing that I think it would be counterintuitive really for us to be you know given with one hand and it's taking the other I, I think this is can, can I, can I, I think your... that Sorry, can I assure you that the £5,000 wasn't just given for food, it was given to help the handful of community in whatever area they needed. Now, if you're telling me that there are a number of people in handful that need toothbrushes and toothpaste um, and whatever else, well, we need to know how many before this grant is paid over. Because you say... A, a, a I do not know how you would obtain that information. I think you would find it extremely difficult to obtain that information. So, for example, I'll give you another um, an, another analogy. There will be children who attend Wilmsdale High School um, who probably don't have those things at home. We support pupils on the... Um, uh, we, we, we support Wilmso High School with general toiletries that they can have available for ch children on the pupil premium there. We also support pupils there who are living in poverty through our teenage um, survival bags, which all contain toothbrush and toothpaste. But it, it is a fact that a lot of these organisations have told us they would be very, very happy and can place these kits they quite like the idea of being able to say to somebody, there you go, you're a family of four, there are four toothbrushes, three tubes of toothpaste and a big bottle of mouthwash and that will last you probably eight weeks, maybe ten weeks. And that's the job done. Okay, you can thank cycle you. through like that rather than on basis. Councillor okay. Moore, do you have any questions? I don't know how you would conduct that research, I'm afraid. Thank you. Councillor Moore, any? Uh, no, I think it's been very comprehensively covered and um, I would be happy to support this. Yeah. I, I, know that, uh, I know that my family regularly donates things, including various uh, um, household items and including dental materials to Hope Central. So they, they do have some means of... Uh, it to the client base, as it were. Um, but if I've understood it, basically, if we approve this grant, you will give five hundred pounds worth of various dental products to Hope Central for them to distribute. Is that the case? Well, we would also like to offer it through. The Oak and Clough Shore Start Nursery Programme as well, which I think falls within your boundary. Is that correct? Uh, no, it's just it's just over the boundary, but uh, no. I don't think we would be too. Is it okay? Well, if you want to put a restriction on say it can only go to Hope Central, then then so be it. But, no. Okay, Councillor Samson, what's your thought? Um, <laughs> I'm sort of abhorrent that there are people in handfuls that don't have a toothbrush and toothpaste. I know I regularly donate to Hope Central and I've not known them ask for these toiletries. However, we did give £5,000 and I wondered whether we should contact Hope Central and tell them that £500 of the 5000 we gave is to go towards toiletries for people in handfuls who don't have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Mm. I mean, that's my thought. So can I just... 
please may I just respond? I, I would urge you not to do that, councillor. I would really urge you not to do that. We've been going for three years, and one of the reasons we exist is because nobody should have to choose between eating or keeping themselves or their family clean. And okay, I hear what you say that you've given five thousand pounds for to Hope Central for the benefit of the handful community. But I think if you put a stipulation on them like that, that's what we do. We give the toilet we did tell we give them toiletry. We did tell Hope Central that the five k could only be spent on handfuls residents. Yes, I'm sure. Our job, our mandate is that we are supplementing all of the charities and organisations we work with, allowing them to offer something extra. It, 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 you know, I kind of <laughs> we would. Totally regret having made this application if that is going to disadvantage them in that way. I, I, I feel I wouldn't you know, want them to. Completely. I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want them to be disadvantaged. Um, I think it would be damaging. I think it would look as though we would come here and and somehow <laughs> undermine their whatever it is they're doing. We are here to focus wholly on hygiene, poverty, and the fact of the matter is. You know, I don't know how often you donate and what you donate, but I can tell you that we purchased, we, you know, we, we are spending hundreds of pounds a month on toiletries on top of what we're donated. We have collection bins in lots of major supermarkets, including Waitrose, Sainsbury's, not in Sainsbury's, not in, Sainsbury's in Macclesfield, Sainsbury's just going into Cheadle, um, Tesco, Superdrug. We've got the WI collection for us. And as fast as the toiletries come in, they are going out. There is a huge need, a huge need. People, you know, cleaning their children themselves with cheap, uh, cheap washing up liquid, washing their clothes themselves, their pots with it. it there, there is Chairman, big this demand. Like Toilet we trip. move on and uh, decide whether we're going to have a vote for it or not. I think they don't think there's much else than anybody I can say, to be honest. Well, unless we speak to um, Hope Central to find out what they're doing. Um, speak to, sorry, who? Hope Central. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I'm against that. We gave £5,000 to Hope Central. I don't think it should come with strings attached. We've got something here apart from the fact it needs to be used for handfuls, fair enough. But we've got a, a, a request here for something which is in, needed desperately by people of Hanforth, and I don't understand why we're just, we're not um, putting it forward. I understand we have to do due diligence, I know that, um, but I really just do think that this is a very laudable um grant application as, as far as i can see it just amounts to adding 500 pounds to hope central's fund anyway which is not something i would object to for one minute okay well i would like to propose that we uh, ac we accept this um we grant this application and i second that uh, all in favor in favour. I'm in favour with reservations that the money only gets spent on handfuls residents. I think that's already been said, hasn't it? Yeah. Ashley, can we word that so that it's uh, directed that it be used specifically for handful people? Ashley? You're muted, Ashley. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'll go to full council next um, in a short while. Okay. okay. Thank you. And can I just say that your grant application was very open, honest, and it was very informative. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you want to know more about our work any time, we'd be very happy to talk about it again. But thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. I'll leave now. Good night. Thank you. 
Chair, that's the end of the meeting. There's no more agendas for okay. the finance meeting. Just just one thing I'd like to say. Um, um, I would like to resign as Vice Chair of the Finance Committee as of that. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Close of meeting. Thank you. Mm -hmm.